Hello guys, today let's talk about n plus 1 query in Eloquent in Laravel, but from a bit different angle. So typically how people debug n plus 1 query problem is installing Laravel debug bar locally and seeing the amount of queries. And this is a classical example of not doing the eager loading and then in the blade you try to load the relationship and then on your website you see the debug bar which shows that there are 13 queries with n plus 1 query executed. But on production, on live server, you don't have that debug bar. It would be unsafe to enable on production, right? So how do you detect n plus 1 queries in production? And also, how do you notify someone of that happening? In my case, I would demonstrate Bugsnag as a software. There are alternatives like Sentry, Rollbar, Flare and others or you could just send an email to someone, that's your personal preference. But I will show you how to catch that n plus 1 query happening on production if you haven't detected that locally. First, to detect that locally from Laravel 8.43, you can enable a thing called prevent lazy loading. So this is the function which would change the behavior of the page if we refresh it from a page to throwing the exception. So if Laravel detects that n plus 1 query is happening, if eager loading is missing somewhere, it would throw an exception. However, again, this should happen only on local because you don't want to show that on production server for your customers because your customers should still better see that page even if it is slower than see this or general 500 server error. So for that, the recommended way is to have a condition prevent lazy loading only if the app is not in production like this and that is production is a helper of laravel which looks at env file and in env file we see this app env in my case it's local computer but if i change that to production which should be done on the live production server then we refresh and then the page loads well because it doesn't disable the lazy loading. So this feature is not enabled in that case. Now getting back to the main question, how do we catch that on production if we cannot enable this? And this is where this code should be enabled. There's another function of the same lazy loading prevention, which is called very lengthy title, handle lazy loading violation using. And then you have callback function, which has two parameters, the model name and the relation name. And then in here, whenever this happens, you may do whatever you want. So it would not throw the exception by default. Instead, we do anything you tell that to do here. So then we don't need to have that condition. We basically can prevent lazy loading on production as well. But instead of throwing exception, you do this. So what happens then? If we refresh the page, the page is loading successfully, although n plus 1 query does exist. And if we open that notification source, in our case, it's Bugsnag. So I'm refreshing the Bugsnag dashboard for that project. This is what we have. We have the event of n plus 1 query, or in fact, it is logged as 12 events because 12 queries. At least this is how it works. But here, the main advantage of actually using Bugsnag or similar bug notification software is you have full request. So the parameters, the user ID, if it exists, in my case, it's just local IP, the session variables, device, PHP version, Laravel version, a lot of helpful things to debug, reproduce that query, and then fix it to not appear again. So that's it, the demonstration. If you want to find out more about eloquent performance in general, including n plus one query problem, Here's how much I have under the tag of performance in Laravel Daily Com. So the course about performance, and I also recommend this big article optimizing Eloquent with a lot of examples and more stuff here. I will link that list in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.